hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today i'll be making a unicorn shirt for my niece you guys um i have not started selling these shirts yet i just want to get a feel for it um i've had my embroidery machine for less than a week it is the pe 800 brother machine so i really really love it so far i'm just trying to get used to it and then i will be adding all of these shirts and more to my website so stay tuned you guys and if you are new here please like and subscribe and if you're coming back welcome okay you guys so first things first i want to show you guys what, everything that i'm using so i'm going to show you all of my supplies um hopefully i don't miss anything but i am new with youtube so let's see okay you guys so these are all the fabrics that i have that i'm using so i have a lot of different color fabrics even this rainbow one here and i'm also using these this beautiful color threads i have three pair of scissors unfortunately i do not have the curved scissors yet so this is going to be a challenge and i also have my brother pe 800 the file that I got is actually from Etsy. Uh, I just loaded onto my USB and we're ready to go. You're also going to need this basting adhesive because I do, um, I'm so new to this. I just like to do the, um, the floating method. So I floated my shirt already. Um, it's already ready to go. And inside here, I already have my white thread in place. So that's ready to go. If you guys want a video on how I do my shirts or how I thread my brother machine, let me know and I will provide that for you guys. But yes, this is all the fabrics that I'm using and the threads. And let's get into it. And for my stabilizer, I'm actually using Cutaway. I just like it better so far because I'm still very new to this. So I'm using Cutaway. I only did one layer. Maybe I should have done two, but like I said, I am learning. So I just did one because I know that I'm going to have to go through this material. So I just did one. But I also wanted to mention that I have used heat and bond on all of my fabrics so that they will lay down smoothly after the shirt is done. So all of my fabrics have the heat and bond on the back. So let's get started. Okay, you guys. So now as y'all can see, I have my first thread down so they want me to cut this and I go ahead and add my white applique that I'm using and that's going to be for the unicorn face as you can see here okay you guys so now I have my white applique down and I'm going to hold it in place and let it thread okay you guys so I know you probably cannot see this but they've already done this they've already sewn on top of the fabric so now I'm going to cut out the excess and then embroider it one more time and the face will be done almost so now he's about to stitch the outside. I've already cut my design out where they, um, the stitch line was. So now it's going to make it look seamless. So, and that is how you do applique. Okay, so just for a quick overview. So first it's going to stitch out your um, first stitch where it shows you where to put your um, applique. And then after that first stitch, you add your applique. And then it's going to stitch over it again one more time. And then it shows you where to cut it out. So you and right after you cut it out where that line was, you're going to go ahead and place it back in there. And it's going to stitch over top one more time to give you a seamless look. And this is what I mean when I say a seamless look. As you can see, there is a thread over top of my applique and it looks very seamless and very cute. So this is my final product. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you maybe learned something and see you in the next one.